Welcome to this tutorial on microwave engineering course. We are students from Princess Sumaya University and we are going to solve a question about the constant gain circles using Kitab Studio and the microwave equation solver. This video is done by Dania Farah and Outside. We have the following question that says plot the 2, 1, 0 and minus 1 dB input and output constant gain circles for GAS MISFET with the following as parameters. We might start by calculating the GS max, which is the maximum power gain at the source, and GL max, which is the maximum power gain at the load. Next, open microwave equation solver and put in the S parameters given in the question. After we finish putting the S parameters, we go and click on basic data 1. A new tab will appear and we will get delta and k. After getting the values of delta and k, we should check for several conditions to determine whether, whether the system is stable when delta is less than 1 or not when delta is larger than 1. And if it is stable, we should check the value of k. When k is larger than 1, that means the system is unconditionally stable. And if k is less than 1, the system will be conditionally stable. Here we got delta less than 1 and k larger than 1. That means the system is unconditionally stable. Now we press the constant gain circles and we put the required values of dB given in the question and they are 2, 1, 0 and minus 1. Then each dB point will give us a radius, magnitude and phase of constant gain circle. We will start with plotting the constant gain circles at, at the source. Now using Kitab Studio, we start by making a phase angle of GS going from the origin and crossing the phase angle at follow as follows. As we can see, at 2 dB, the center is 0.625 and the radius is 0.254. These values is with respect to gamma. So open the canvas and add the reflection coefficient axis on the bottom. Of the Smith chart, we open the compass to the value of the center and then we go and plot the center by putting the pin of the compass at the center of the Smith chart and the, the new center will be the intersection point between the phase line and the arc drawn by the compass. Now the radius will be from the new center with the compass opened with the value of the radius at the same reflection correction to axis for 1, 0 and minus 1 dB 
is the same as 42 GB. For the constant gain circles at the load, we go from the origin and cross face the angle as follows. We can see at 1 dB the center is 0.484 and the radius is 0.197. These values is with respect to gamma. So open the canvas at the reflection coefficient axis on the bottom of this match chart and use the measure the canvas of the value at the center. Then we go and plot the center by putting the pin of the canvas at the center of this metal chart. And the new center will be the intersection point between the phase line and the arc drawn by the canvas. Now the radius will be from the new center with the canvas opened with the value of the radius at the same reflection coefficient axis. And for 0 and minus 1 dB is the same for the 1 dB.
The second part of the question is finding the load and source impedance for maximum power. We open a new smart chart and we plot a new line for the phase of the load. Then we use the microwave equation solver to get the value of the center and the radius and they are 0.706 for the center and radius will be almost zero. Using the reflection coefficient axis we open the compass for the wanted value of the center and we plot an arc that intersect the phase line. Next we have to make a matching circuit going to the upper half of the smart chart on the impedance circles. We add a series inductor and going down to the lower half we add a parallel capacitor. Now for the source we make the same as for the load but going up the upper, uh, the upper half of the admittance circle uh, we add parallel inductor and going down we add series capacitor. Thank you for watching.